What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here at New York Toy Fair 2018 with Dan Lujan at the Kotobo Kia booth. How are you doing today, Dan? Us doing great. We're uh, halfway through the show. We've made some huge announcements. I'm glad you're here because I want to share those announcements with you and your viewers. Awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. So let's start off with what we have uh, in the booth all the way to the right over here. We have the Batman Gaslight, right? Yeah, yeah that's uh, based off of the animation that just came out, I think, a couple of weeks ago on Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah. Uh, I think you can agree that this statue is dynamically painted and sculpted. It comes with actually two different portraits, so you can display it as you see there, or there's a different portrait uh, on, towards the base of the statue. Yeah, expect that piece to arrive to retailers uh, late spring. Awesome. And that's Artifacts Plus scale, so just as a reminder, Artifacts Plus is 110 scale. Awesome, that's yeah. great. I love having the interchangeable parts with the bases. That's cool. Display yeah. options is fun, man. Definitely. I Definitely. like that. And then underneath that, we have the Justice League Justice Artifacts League. Plus statues, which I've reviewed all, all of. of them. Yeah, yeah, those are, are awesome. all available at retail now. Great. Great. And um, below that, we've got our Supergirl Bishojo. So I think that's going to be the next piece I get to you for your approval. Awesome. <laughs> I like the Bishojos. I like those. <laughs> they, they, they're really popular with our fan base. So uh, that's the next piece that will be arriving to retailers. Uh, probably, I would say, late March, early April. Okay, sounds yeah, it's good. Out, it's out now in Japan, but keep in mind, it takes a while to travel the ocean oh, to yeah. get to us. Yeah. yeah. And then on the DC front, two brand new announcements. The Harley Quinn and Joker from the Batman animated series. Uh, we originally released the Batman animated Artifacts statue. Artifacts Plus statue had multiple face plates, as you probably remember, yeah. which you could store in the base. And uh, now we're actually happy to continue that line. We've got Harley Quinn and the Joker, and these two statues will also have multiple faceplates. Uh, not sure at this time how many. We're still waiting for that final word, but you'll be able to switch up, uh, switch out their expressions too. I love that Harley pose. That, that, that's like Those are just classic animation yeah. poses, just like ripped straight from the cartoon. So expect pre-orders to open up for those two early next month. And then we have the Artifacts Plus Catwoman that's not out yet, right? That, that is the final piece from, uh, uh, I guess you could call them the, the Gotham Sirens. Uh, we've got Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and now Catwoman. So Catwoman should be arriving to retailers, I'd say, March, March or so, yeah. Awesome, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Nice. And our, our latest uh, uh, release for the DC uh, Rebirth is going to be Batman. You've reviewed Car uh, Jonathan Kent and Crypto, yeah. and you and just Superman. did Robin and the Bat Hound. Yep. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, so if you haven't watched those videos, go watch them. So uh, th th those two are coming out. Uh, well, Jonathan Kent's out now. Robin will be heating retailers next month, and then Batman will be coming out uh, early to mid-spring. And uh, for our TV fans, Supergirl is available now. And coming up in April, we've got James Gordon and Oswald Cobblepot from the show Gotham. Right. Can you pronounce this for me? The Ikemen line. Ikemen line. So kind of a play on words, it's handsome man, handsome guy. Oh, okay. It's the handsome guy line. So uh, right. first up will be Nightwing. Uh, that's a factory sample that you see there. Uh, he'll be arriving uh, uh, this spring. Uh, we're showing the tooling, the Toolmaster uh, factory sample for our Red Hood. And just like Nightwing, the first production is going to come with an additional face portrait. If we ever do a second uh, production of the, these pieces, that won't be included. Oh. So it's just kind of an incentive to jump on early to the pre-order. Nice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then for the first time ever here at the show, we're revealing the artwork for Red Robin and the uh, Damien Robin. All right. Yeah. So those will be the next two Ikemen statues for this line. And I think we made the announcement a while back at San Diego Comic-Con, but we're also planning on doing Bruce Wayne. Oh, great. That'll, that'll That's round good. off the collection real nicely. Right. Yeah, there you go. You want, yeah, you, you want all the male back characters for that line. And then two brand new big announcements. We're partnering up with Hasbro. So we're going to be offering My Little Pony oh, yes. and G.I. Joe Pashojo. <laughs> yeah. And this has gotten a huge response through our social uh, media channels, yeah. especially the My Little Pony uh, announcement. I just want to give your uh, viewers a little insight. This is not a one shot. We are going to do multiple characters. So um, expect several My Little Pony characters and several G.I. Joe characters. The artwork you see here is our approved artwork for the My Little Pony. So we are going to offer that pony on the base. So you'll get the Bishojo uh, 
a statue, of course, and then you'll get the pony ac accompanying her on the base. So is this like kind of like a, a, a human version of each pony along with their actual pony version next to them? I'm not that familiar with My Little Pony. It's, it's kind of like, it, yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, I, like, like yourself, I'm not too familiar with the, the whole history behind My Little Pony, but I believe there's a, a series called Esqueria Girls of, oh. of, where, where it's kind of the human like equivalent of the ponies plus the ponies themselves. So that's kind of the concept behind this here. Of course, all the artwork done by master artist Shunya Yamashita. Uh, and I just think just the colors and, and just the vibrancy, it, it's going to be a really fun line. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a huge G.I. Joe guy, but, but uh, I'm serious, man. Baroness. Baroness, I'm just saying, Baroness. Baroness. Baroness, please. This is a possibility. G.I. Joe, I, I want to confirm we're not doing gender swapping here. We are going to be focusing on the female Joes and the female Cobras. I can't make any official announcements, but I'm sure your fans know. I'm a fan of G.I. Joe. I grew up with it. So I think you can tell who those female characters are. Right. So uh, chances are good you're going to get your wish, man. All right. Yep. Uh, looking forward to that very much. And then in some more Bashojo news, our horror line has just been doing tremendous success. And we're happy to show for the first time ever the sculpt for Ash Williams from Evil Dead 2. And I just love how we're now going back to those bases that just really tell a story, a yeah. real narrative here. You know, you've got the attic, the, the hand creeping out of the attic, it's chained down there. You've got the Book of the Dead there. Yeah. So uh, expect this piece to arrive hopefully before Halloween of this year. A uh, pre-order should open up, uh, I would say next month, early April. Not sure when that's going to happen just yet. And then for the first time ever, we're showing the artwork for our Hellraiser 3 Pinhead Bishoujo. So cool. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of our most elaborate Bishoujos. I mean, just with those pins alone, that's going to take a lot of effort. Uh, but it's going to be a great challenge. Not sure what the base is going to be just yet. Hope it's, it's one of those, uh, uh, you know, like a narrative, a, a themed base of some type. Uh, yeah. We're still working on that. Uh, no release date or pricing available for that particular character and then brand new announcement we're going to be doing Michael Myers from the original Halloween so uh, that's uh, we're, we're yeah hey you got that you, you figured that out already um, this this uh, art, artwork's not approved just yet so that's why we're showing the silhouette uh, hopefully before or maybe at San Diego Comic-Con we'll have more information about Michael Myers and I'm happy to say we're gonna keep this line going strong too so we were already talking with with other uh, licensors about adding their characters to our horror line so this this def this series has legs it's gonna keep on going for, for a while I, I like the liberties that you've taken with the design over here with pinhead yeah. like those those pins through the heels yeah that is awesome yeah, I like that really nice touch and uh, it, it it has enough of the elements that you can connect it with pinhead but it's unique en enough that it's also kind of like its own separate entity yeah. but uh, yeah just real exciting to see this always to, to see this come together finally because uh, we had made the announcement back in San Diego I believe and it's been some time to actually get this uh, concept approved so real happy yeah. about that yeah. And then for horror fans, we also have our Freddy Krueger artifact statue. So this Looking is a cool. companion piece to the Jason Voorhees that was released last year. Nice, nice. So I, I hope that we're able to continue that trend with adding more horror franchises, not just with Bashojo, but with Artifacts and maybe Artifacts Plus. Yeah. Cool. Nice, nice. And then we get some Star Wars goodness Star Wars. over here. Always got to have the Star Wars here. Um, you reviewed Palpatine in the Throne, correct? Correct, yep. Cool, yeah. cool. Palpatine. So. Love that one. Awesome, yeah. So he's out at retail now. Um, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. What you're seeing here is yes. just an early uh, paint sample. Um, he'll be out next, followed by Emperor Palpatine and the two Royal Guards. It's a, it's a three-pack. And then from The Last Jedi, we've got the uh, Executioner. That weapon will have two configurations, so it can be wide open or closed. Um, and then you've got the Praetorian Guard, two-pack. Comes with multiple weapons and different helmets, so you can do a variety of... Uh, uh, different, uh, you know, oh, wow. stances and uh, characters with that. And then army build, army build get multiple army packs. Build. And then we've got our Captain Phasma artifact yeah. statue. So one seventh scale. Uh, I'm not sure, but most likely she'll have a ball joint in her neck. Maybe her wrist will move slightly. Uh, waist will move a little bit. Uh, again, these are statues, but we like to add those features just so you can change up the pose. Yeah, yeah. And I think that base might be adjusted too. It's not final, so we could lower it a bit. 
It looks like a slightly different kind of paint job than the Artifacts Plus version that we'd gotten, right? Like yeah. the, the Artifacts Plus had a little bit more dirt on it, more I think. Weathering. Yeah, more, more weathering, weathering on sure, it. This is like sure. a bit crisper yeah, yeah. chrome paint job. I, ho I hope that you know when final product uh, uh, is you know comes from the factory that this is kind of where we're at. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Nice. And then huge announcement. Uh, X-Men 92, based off of the uh, classic, I sh should I say classic? <laughs> is it classic? 92 is classic? Yeah. Retro? Yeah, I don't know. Retro. So we've got our 92 X-Men line, based off of the comic, the cartoon. We're taking all type of, uh, we're also referencing the, the old line from Toy Biz, you know? So yeah. if you look at the packaging, which you, you can see some, uh, some comps on our Facebook page of what we're planning on doing in the packaging, that's kind of really, uh, uh, latching on to what, what, what you know was done with Toy Biz. So it's just a fun line. We're able to offer two Artifacts Plus statues at, w with, e with each release. That may change, you know, because I'm happy to announce that we're planning on doing both the blue and gold teams. This Ooh. line is going to grow throughout the year. So great to hear. Can't make any official announcements, but I think we know those characters in, in those lines. So um, you can expect a lot of uh, just announcements in, in the coming months. Uh, as to you know, more additions to this particular line. Jubilee and Wolverine are available now for pre-order and next month Cyclops and Beast will open up for pre-order and those glasses are removable on Beast. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I don't think I've seen any product that actually properly replicated that particular look of Beast. Yeah. You know, like we have different Beast toys that kind of resemble that, but like that actual head sculpt, oh, yeah. you know, the, yeah. that particular part in the glasses. And I'm hoping that that trend will continue as we explore other characters. Really give the collectors, the fans of both the animation and just X-Men in general, you know, uh, these characters that have previously not really been offered. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, through, through retail, so yeah. real excited about that. For Bashojo fans, we've got our Cap Captain Marvel, which will be coming up next. Uh, I expect her to probably release around fall. We're still uh, fine-tuning the, the tooling for this piece, so um, it might be delayed just a bit from what we or originally solicited it as, but uh, still, will be out this year. Hey, what's my girl Psylocke doing back Psylocke. there? Okay, so that's, that, that's an interesting... Uh, uh, thing that we're doing. We're going to be doing a second run of Psylocke, but we are changing the color of the base. As you can see, it's green now, as opposed to just being all rocks. Um, and that's because we want to offer it to maybe collectors that missed out the first time around. Yeah, yeah. But those collectors that got on board the first time around, we don't want their pieces to go down in value. Yeah. So not only are we changing the color of the base, the packaging will clearly say second, second edition, second run. I'm not sure what the wording will be. So, uh, yeah, just this, just a good way if you missed out the first time around to avoid having to go to eBay, maybe pick up the second run if, if you're still looking for Psylocke. Yeah. And then for third edition, can we get the blue costume back? Because I missed out on the blue one. I don't think we're going to do the blue because that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So that's, that's where we're keeping that exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to be offering her in the next uh, probably couple of months. Awesome. It's a beautiful piece. I love that. And then for our higher end collector, we've got our fine art statue line. One yeah. six scale, resin, individually numbered on the bottom of the base. Um, and this is our latest announcement, Storm, from the Danger Room sessions. Yeah. She's going to come with two portraits, as you see there. One of the earrings fell off of the uh, mohawk. Uh, head there, but oh, I see that both earrings, um, and yeah, I don't have any release date information or pricing yet, but uh, and we're going to keep that line going strong too. I expect the next announcement to happen shortly, uh, and we'll probably unveil the completed sculpt at San Diego Comic Con. Excellent, she's looking gorgeous, Thank you. and as well as Cami over here, we have two versions. We've got our second version of Cami and DiCapri, and those both are going to be coming out. Uh, I would think. I think it's it's late spring, early summer. I've got to recheck uh, our scheduling on that. I haven't heard what's coming up next for Street Spider, but I'm sure that we're going to keep that momentum going. And then r directly above them, you see we have Chris Redfield and Leon S. Kennedy from the Resident Evil Vendetta animation. So uh, those are artifact scale. Uh, I'm not sure if we're planning on adding more characters to that line too. but. Uh, I mean, I, I think you can agree the detailing on those are just incredible. Yeah, they look great. I love that blood splatter yeah, right there at the really bottom. cool base effect that we've been able to do. And then we got some Defenders Artifacts Plus statues over here. This is like the last Marvel bit right over here on the 
yeah. on the left hand side? Yeah, so we, we did a line of uh, Artifacts Plus Defenders. Uh, of course, comic outfits. Uh, we had the comic artist Dale Keon create the concept art. And uh, Daredevil, those are uh, early factory samples that you see there. That, uh, that's a bendy wire, so you can reposition that how you'd like. Yes. Luke Cage and Jessica Jones are currently up for pre-order. And then for the first time ever, we're showing Iron Fist. And I really awesome. love that, that glow effect that yeah. we've got going with his, his fist there. So, Me too. And we're going to keep the Artifacts Plus comic line going strong for Marvel. So I expect the next uh, big announcement will be at San Diego Comic Con. All right. And then Black Panther. Super hot movie. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet? Oh. I've been here at Toy Fair, yeah, so as soon as we're done with this show, I'm going to go see it. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah. So this is our Black Panther artifact statue. And just as a cool little side note, you see the Wakanda writing on the base there? Oh, yes. That says the Black Panther is the protector of Wakanda. Oh, yes. great. So, oh. so we worked oh. with the studio. We got the key to the Wakanda alphabet, and we made sure our sculptor sculpted those elements into the base. So oh, just wow. a cool little uh, feature that nice we're little really nod. Yeah, uh, I like that. Black Panther will be coming out mid to late summer. And then finally, your favorite, yeah. Spider-Man. We've got Spider-Man here. Oh, these both look so awesome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, We've got our Spider-Man, what we're calling the Web Slinger Artifacts statue, uh, based off of, I would say based off of the artwork of Todd McFarlane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Todd McFarlane inspired? Yeah. yeah. And that, uh, his webbing, that's a bit, that's a bendable wire. So oh, great. Uh, some of your viewers may remember our solicitation photos, our preview photos had the had the webbing going straight up and down, yeah. but you can also position it moving forward as you see here, and I think it really changes the dynamic of this piece. So a really cool piece. Another I love cool that. little tidbit is that this base is resin, but the statue itself is plastic. So. It's not a fine art statue, it's, a, it's an artifact statue, but that base is going to have a nice weight to it to, to really uh, to anchor the Spider-Man down. God. Yeah. Oh, I'm stoked for that one. That, that is awesome. Expect, uh, that is so awesome. to arrive early summer. Excellent. And then from Spider-Man Homecoming, we've got our artifact statue. Uh, we worked with the studio to get references to make sure the outfit was as accurate as possible. Uh, release date for this will probably be around... Uh, mid to late summer. Wow. Great, great looking pieces. I'm very excited for these. Yeah, I mean, actually, I'm excited for everything that you have coming out. I mean, you guys keep taking it up a notch. And, and I, think, I think you're seeing it with what we're looking for as far as licensing goes. I don't think anyone saw My Little Pony coming. Yeah. And yeah, some yeah. people may still have some opinions as to why we're using resources for that. But regardless, we're taking chances and we're, we're developing against things that you know, a lot of our, our, our people grew up with here at the company and ha have a fondness for. And there's a lot of new fans for My Little Pony, too. So yeah. it, it really speaks to the My Little Pony fans and the Bashojo fans and just fans of anime, you know, art in general. You uh -huh. know, so it, it's a great it's a great line. And I've, I'm not a My Little Pony fan. I've never really have spent a lot of time with that. But I am really anticipating seeing these actually come in 3D form, I, I, it's really and GI Joe. GI Joe is really my my true love uh, <laughs> as a child of growing up. So yeah. I, I was real excited to be actually able to, to work on on some of the licensing talks with that to get get that uh, collaboration uh, set up. Wow, that's great to see, yeah. man. That's great to hear. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations on continued much success, thanks. and thanks for sharing everything over here at New York Toy Fair 2018. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure from Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.